Hello, welcome to this video where we have uh, two examples of surface area calculated using the second semester calculus. We have a curve that's revolved around an axis and it's our job to figure out the area of the surface that's generated. The curve is very simple, it's y equals x squared and we have x's between 0 and root 2. And so what that looks like is just, you know, one part of the parabola there. Uh, we are rotating this about the y-axis. When your axis of rotation is the y-axis, then your radius is x. Okay, great. There's two things that determine which formula you're going to use, your axis of rotation and which variable you're going to integrate with respect to. Since you're given y is a function of x and you're giving an a range of x values, then your integration variable is x, dx. You should be using dx. These are in agreement with each other. You have an integral that's in dx and you have an x as part of that integral, they're in agreement, so the formula is where you just leave that x in there. And the ds part is just going to be 1 plus y prime squared with the radical. All right, so let's start with that. If y is equal to x squared, then y prime is, is 2x. Okay. Square that, you get 4x squared. So 1 plus 4x squared is under the radical. You don't have to worry about making this a perfect square like you had to focus on for arc length. It's not the case because there's another variable on the outside that can help you with the integration. When the degree of the inside is one more than the degree of the outside, u sub is your way to go when you have these polynomials. So let u be the inside, 1 plus 4x squared. du, 8x dx. You need to replace x dx, so replace it with 1 eighth of du. You still have the 2 pi out there. You have the square root of u, or u to the half, and then we have the 1 eighth that's going to be pulled out in the du. Integrating u to the half, you get u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. Bunch of constants here. And so we cancel the 4 that's in the numerator with the 8 that's in the denominator. We end up with pi over 6. u to the 3 halves, but u is 1 plus 4x squared. This is all some side work to help us figure out that the antiderivative of our function who's in our integral is exactly pi over 6 times that 1 plus 4x squared raised to the 3 halves. We found the antiderivative, we'll plug in the bounds, root 2 and 0. Uh, if you square root 2, you get a 2. Times by 4, you get an 8, plus a 1, you get a 9. So 9 to the 3 halves. When you put a 0 in, you get a 1. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. 27 minus 1 is 26. It's 26 pi over 6, which reduces to 13 pi over 3. That's the area that it takes to paint the surface. All right, the next example will be very similar, but we're going to switch up the orientation. And so we're going to have x equals 1 ninth of y squared and plus 2. Shift it up two units. Um, we have y's between 2 and 6 we're interested in. And we're going to rotate about the x-axis. So the picture looks like this and the x-axis is our rotation axis. We rely so heavily on the picture for volume, but for arc length and surface area, we don't have to rely on the picture. But the concept behind helping us figure out which formula to use is helpful to see a picture. When you have the x-axis as your rotation axis, then um, the, the uh, y is your radius, the distance off of that x-axis. <laughs> Well, if you're given x as a function of y and you're given a y range of values, then you should do the integral in y. They agree with each other, just like the last example. In, in our next video, we'll look at where they don't agree and you have to replace the radius. And so um, you take the derivative. This time it's actually called x prime or dx dy, and you get two ninths of y. You square that and you get 4y squared over 81. Now, whenever, whenever your derivative squared is a fraction, 
when it's time to add one, don't add it as a one, add it as the denominator over itself. So it's going to be added instead as 81 over 81. Okay, and then you can put the numerators together. The algebra works out better this way, just from doing a bunch of examples. That's just my advice. You don't have to do it. Square to the top and square to the bottom. We have a perfect square underneath. So we have one ninth, the square root of 81 plus 4y squared. Outside, we have 2 pi. So the surface area is going to be 2 pi over 9, the square root of 81 plus 4y squared. And don't forget the y is also in there from the radius. You're integrating in dy. The polynomial on the inside has 1 degree higher than the polynomial on the outside. It's a clue that you're going to do a u sub du 8y dy. So to replace y dy, you replace it with 1 eighth of du. You have your 2 pi over 9. Now you have your 1 eighth. And your integral now is going to be u to the 1 half du. Which is u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. And that all combines to be 2 pi with the 2. That's 4 pi. That 4 can make the 8 into a 2. So 9 times 6, 54. Pi over 54 u to the 3 halves. Um, and u is 81 plus 4y squared. All of this was some side work. We had to figure out what the antiderivative of that was. u sub came to the rescue. We know that the antiderivative of our function is exactly pi over 54, 81 plus 4y squared. You put a 6 in there. 6 squared is 36. 36 times 4 plus an 81. It actually ends up as a perfect square, 225. When you put a 2 in there, it doesn't end up as a perfect square. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 and 81, you get 97. Better off just leaving it just like that. 225 to the 3 halves minus 97 to the 3 halves. With the pi over 54 on the outside. What we just calculated was the area it takes to paint the solid surface area. Okay? All right. In the next video, what we're going to do is uh, see what happens when they don't match. In, in this video, both of our examples had the radius and the integration variable matching. So let's look at what happens when they don't match in the next video. Thank you for watching. My name is Nakai Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this journey. Um, please ask any questions if you have them. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.